Hey everyone, welcome back to Bomb Grillings. Today we're doing food footage and we're shooting it all from the new iPhone 8 Plus. Woo, yeah. I just got it, picked it up, unboxed it. It's right out of the box. Got it on a tripod here. Now, I just wanna see how this thing's gonna work. I, I use it as a secondary camera. We're gonna be doing food footage. So what that means is you're gonna need to get a bib because everything you see it's just gonna make you so hungry. Let's roll that beautiful food footage. All right, so we're on the next day. I've been editing the video and kind of taking a look at the footage. 
and I can notice a little bit of a degrade with the low light quality. Um, as you can tell throughout the video, the quality starts to degrade a little bit as the sun starts to go down. So that's something to kind of keep in mind when using an iPhone when you're shooting stuff. Uh, you want to make sure it's well lit, everything is good and crisp so that that video quality is really good. Also, one of the other things that I noticed is while you're shooting it, you want to keep everything in focus. You want to make sure that you're on target because some of the, the colors might get washed out if you're not focused on what you're trying to shoot. So you got to make sure you click on that uh, subject and make sure you hold it there. So that can be kind of, I don't know, problematic, but once you get used to kind of switching where you're at and, and focusing on it, you're going to get some good colors. If you don't, things are going to get washed out and you'll be able to see that in the video as well. Another thing that's nice is the two times zoom and you can use that while you're videoing. But what's nice is that you can just be filming and then hit that zoom in and kind of get a little closer shot without getting too close. But once again, low light quality. You need to be well lit when you do this because I can even notice while I'm doing some of those shots throughout this video, when I zoomed in, the quality just, it was not very nice. It wasn't that great. But I think that if you just kind of think about how you're shooting it, being well lit, everything should look pretty nice once you do that. So overall, iPhone 8 Plus is going to be an excellent secondary camera. I mean, from different angles, I think it's going to work just fantastic. And also what I really like is that it's water resistant. It's not waterproof, but water resistant. And being that I'm in the inland northwest, we're going to get a lot of snow, a lot of rain. Um, and I have DSLR cameras that aren't waterproof at all. So having this is going to make it easier for me to continue to film throughout the winter times. I'm excited about that. Really excited. If you guys like this video, I hope that you guys will subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share if you care. In the meantime, happy grillings. Have a good one.